gotta work. Done more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> I don't know sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! something river this is the farm we got it I know let's get to the barn quick Thank you. 
It's gotta be here. Have a look around. up tight. Need to find another way. Quick! in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying quarters now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, dammit! No, oh, and watch for automated defenses on the side. They're substantial. Hurry, gotta shut it off.
Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Alive. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Dead a few days already. V, help me with Randy. It's okay. Don't be scared. We're here to help. If you're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. V, help me with Randy. Need to loosen this. Help me. I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. No, River. I want that fucker's blood on my hands, too. Appreciate your dedication, V. But this is between me and Harris. I'm gonna take him out in my own way. Amidst all this confusion. Sure you don't want help? They'll catch you. No, they won't. I'm... That is, I was a detective, remember? I know how to cover my tracks. Just remember... Say the word. I'm there. You can count on me. Need a little time to myself now. But I'll remember. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it. And holler if you change your mind. Or if you're just in the mood to holler. Poor boys. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisting. V? The information from Okada-san. Very valuable. 
I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end card station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Sure, we can pack, we can ride, but what then? The contract's dead. We've got no reason to stay. You're the only ones bringing camp. Because no, Saul doesn't know the rest will quit. stay here in camp. Stubborn is immune. On patrols every half hour, Listen. reporting directly to me. <laughs> Are we preparing for a visit at Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, nice. very aware. Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? 
Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you Got think? no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we get? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. What a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! 
The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn sure. Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. See? Hello? Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? Remember that. We have arrived. So much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay. Let's get to work. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Have fun, kids. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Um... Got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. 
Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Got a little help from yours truly. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. 